In this video, we will demonstrate the steps of scrub, gown and glove, followed by a derobing at the end. Ordinarily, I would be wearing a face mask at this point, probably also a visor. However, it's not particularly viable for this instructional video. Before you scrub up, take your nail brush, open the lid, tuck it underneath itself and lay it down in a flat surface which is not going to become contaminated. As with a hand wash, your skin must always be wet before you apply the soap solutions. But from now on, your fingertips must remain higher than your elbows at all times. The water should be dripping from your elbows, not from your fingertips. Wet your skin from fingertips to elbows and come out. Okay. One plunge of the soap solution will give you the measured 5 ml that you need to wash your hands. Okay. Actions again, palm to palm, right over left, left over right, palm to palm with your fingers interlaced, backs of fingers to opposing palms, Again, do one side, the other side. Rotational rubbing of your thumb and the other side. Pads of fingers into palm of your hand. Don't forget your thumb. Then we're doing rotational motions up your arm, past your elbow by about an inch. And the same with the other side. That process takes one minute. Leave the solution on your skin and take your scrubbing brush. As always, your scrubbing brush must be wet and the soap solution applied if it is not already impregnated. Scrub your fingernails only across your nails and along your cuticles. You should not be um, scrubbing your skin only your nails. 30 seconds to scrub one side and 30 seconds to scrub the other. When you have completed that one minute, drop your brush into the sink. Okay. Your solution has now been on your skin for two minutes, so this can now be rinsed off. Fingers first, let the water run up your arm and the same with the other side. At this point, be very aware that the drips from one hand is not dripping onto your other. Take another five mLs of solution, and then you have one minute to wash your hands and one minute to wash your arms. Again, palm to palm. Right over left. and left over right. Palm to palm with your fingers interlaced. And then backs of fingers to opposing palms with your fingers interlocked. Doing the knuckle wash and on the other side as well. Okay. Rotational rubbing of your thumbs. and on the other side as well. Take pads of your fingers into the palm of your hand and your thumb and the other side obviously as well and your thumb. Again rotational motions up your arm do at least six mechanical washes, move up a little bit, another six mechanical washes. This time, stop before you get to your elbow. That way you're not going to contaminate your clean hand on something that you have not already washed. And the other side. Okay. 
again, stop before you get to your elbows. We can now rinse the solution from our skin. Drip over the sink. This is the end of part one. We're now going to go and dry our hands at the gowning table. Now for drying your hands and for gowning. At arm's length, lift your towel off of the pile. Open it up using both hands. Lay half of the towel onto the palm of one hand. This towel must stay still and you move your other hand around it. Pat dry, do not rub your skin. Once your hand is dry, take the corner nearest to you and rotate it from six o'clock to 12 o'clock. Let it fall. This brings a dry area of the towel to rotationally pat to dry your arm. So you have a dry side and a wet side. When you're finished with the towel, discard it into the waste. With your dry hand, lift your other towel. Again, open it. Leave it onto one palm, bulk of the towel away from you and pat dry. Take the corners nearest to you, six o'clock round to 12 o'clock, brings you a dry area to pat dry your arm. Again, when you're finished with it, discard it immediately. When you're lifting your gown, imagine it like a book. Okay, it is packed inside out, so do not be frightened to touch it. Your book, you have the spine of the book and pages of the book. Have the spine towards you. The curved area is your neckline, so therefore must always be uppermost. And if you do that, you'll find a little pocket at either side, which is the beginning of your sleeves. Step back from the sterile field. Open your book, let it fall away from you. Gentle shake and just walk into it. And at that point, someone else will come and tie you in. A member of the circulating team. What we're going to do today is a closed method of gloving. Therefore, no skin should come out of your uh, sleeves of your gown. Okay. So make two little finger puppets so that your skin is completely contained within the sleeves of your gown. Your gloves, it's best practice to have your gloves presented to you. Thank you, David. Today we're going to double glove. All right. We have a coloured pair of gloves to put on first. So if you open the packaging, and turn it so that the fingers are pointing towards you. Orientate yourself around these gloves. Um, your fingers, your thumb, this is a bead of the cuff, this is inside out. Okay. So with your thumb and forefinger of either of your hands, lift the glove with the bead of the cuff, the fingers pointing towards you. Turn your palm so that your palm is now pointing to the ceiling, the fingers are still pointing up your arms. Take your thumb and forefinger of the other cuff. Okay. Stretch your gloves, straighten your fingers, pull the glove over the back of your hand and slip your glove on. Okay. The same with the other side. Thumb and forefinger, the bead of the cuff. Palm to the ceiling, fingers are still pointing up your arms. Thumb and forefinger of your other hand. Stretch your gloves, straighten your fingers, pull the glove over the back of your hand and slip it on. At this point, please ensure that the white stockinette area of their gown is tucked well inside of your glove. Take your other pair of gloves, open it with the fingers pointing away from you, lift the fold, slip your hand in. 
and catch the bead of the cuff with your thumb. Using your sterile fingers, slip it underneath between the two layers and slip this glove all the way on. And then slip your fingers into the pocket that you've made to pull your other glove. Okay. Then you can organise your fingers. The gown we tied in earlier on, we need to complete this um, process. The card on the front doesn't matter what it says, it does not matter what it looks like, the principles are always the same. With your left hand, take your left tape. With your right hand, take the card and the tape and separate them out. This card you then give to someone else. This someone else may or may not be scrubbed. You must stand still and let the circulating nurse circulate around you, bring you the tape, take a hold of the tape, pull it straight, pull it apart, and then you can tie this securely. Thank you, David. I am now ready to go to the table. That completes stage two. At the end of the case, we have to dispose of this in an appropriate manner. Okay. Remember, at the end of the case, all of the obvious contamination is going to be at the front of your gown. And we have to take this off in such a manner that it contains all of that contamination. First of all, take your top layer gloves and dispose of them in the clinical waste bag. The gowns are paper, so a quick snap tends to let you out. Once your gloves have been on for some time, there's vacuum happening here, so lift the gown, lift the glove only at the bend of your wrist to let a bubble of air into the palm of your hand. Then take your gown and your glove over your thumb. Same for the other side. Makes a little pocket, we'll need that in a second. Cross your hands over and pull your gown off from your shoulders. Do not go too high. You do not want to contaminate your face or your scrub suit. Okay. With your index finger, pop it inside your pocket and pull your gloves off. This is what you want. Your gown still tucked inside your glove when you remove them. And then roll your gown downwards and away from you, which will contain all the contamination and then dispose of it in the clinical waste bag provided. Okay. We then have to remove our masks and then, of course, wash our hands using the clinical steps of hand washing. <laughs>